absolutely. So my favorite cake is coffee and walnut cake. So exactly, exactly. It's 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 just the best. And coupled with the fact. my creative African cooking channel in Dudu by Fafa and my name is Fafa I made my favorite cake of all I hardly ever bake on this channel so my favorite cake is coffee and walnut cake so exactly exactly it's 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 just the best and of course it's not going to be any other coffee or walnut cake it's going to be the amazing spice cafe tuba walnut cake now I'll leave a link in the description box below because I have got the recipe and also the video on how to make your cafe tuba. This is like an amazing creative recipe that I think, you know, if you want to treat yourself like the king and the queen that you are, you should definitely try it. Why not? Now let's start this bad girl. So to my mixer, I've added some butter that I've brought to room temperature. And to that, I'm adding some brown sugar. And I love the brown sugar because it has this sort of nutty caramelized flavor that it will lend itself to this recipe. So, of course, you're going to whisk this until it's well combined and fluffy. Now, I'm just going to incorporate my cafe tuba. In the absence of using your cafe tuba, which of course is still coffee but is spiced just beautifully and it adds that je ne sais quoi to your dish, you can use your normal coffee. Yet again, I'd leave the list of ingredients and measurements on my blog in dudu by fafa.blogspot.com, so do check it out. So once it's combined, I'm now adding my eggs and I'm just whisking this. So I'm adding the eggs bit by bit, as you can tell here now. Now, I mean, it's best for you to crack your eggs in a bowl and add that to it just to avoid, you know, adding any eggshells to your cake. But then again, because I know what I'm doing, I just cracked it directly in. Now, the next thing is sifting your flour. So I have got here my self-raising flour that I'm sifting, which would aerate the flour and it would make for a beautiful, fluffy cake, of course. It's not any other food. It's avec le indudu by Fafa. I de lie. I don't de lie. As I said, it be your mouth. Whoever goes into your mouth, it be your own business. So now I'm gradually adding my flour to my mixture. And I have reduced the mixing setting um, to a medium to low setting that will just allow me to mix this nicely. Now, if I do add all the flour, it might just, you know, pour everywhere and just be all messy so that's why I'm doing this so yes we're going to do this until it's all well combined this is so exciting now I'm going to incorporate my crushed walnut pieces to my mixture and this mixing is almost done now the next thing is I'm going to prepare my baking tin and at this point, also preheat my oven to 180 degrees. So using my greaseproof paper and also the bottom part of my nine inch cake tin, what a mouthful. I've created this circular cut as you can see here and that would cover the base of my cake. Now, naturally one could use your melted butter for this, but I tend to use my olive oil and I just brush it on the side and brush it everywhere. So that just prepares my tin. At this point, my baking tin is ready for me to pour my mixture into it. So yeah, look at this. Mm. 
This is where the silicone spatula comes into its being because it would allow you to scrape any excess mixture from your mixing bowl into your cake tin where it belongs. Now this is ready and I'm just going to be baking this at 180 degrees for about 30 minutes. At the time of 25 minutes, I'll insert a skewer and if it comes out clean, I know it's ready. If this is your first time, you're welcome. Thank you very much for clicking that button to watch it. Don't forget to subscribe and also click that notification button, which means that each time I do upload a video, you are notified of it and you're not missing anything. After 30 minutes, here you have it. <laughs> now, this is why it's important to grease your tin because once it's cooked, you have to take it out. Now, to take it out, if you don't grease your cake tin, then it's just going to be stuck. Now, at this point, let's just see if it's worked. This actually just looks great. And I think I'm just doing that just to release it further. And here we go. Did it work? uh yay yes and i've just transferred it to my cake stand whilst it actually completely cools down because of course i'm going to be you know adding some beautiful filling to it and also attempt to decorating but you know when i say attempt to decorating it's like this rustic bish bash bosh thing so don't be too excited <laughs> anyway at this point i've got some of my cafe tuba in a mixing bowl and you would notice that like you know it's getting dark and i was like now i've got to hurry up i'm racing against time so ideally one would have to sift the ice and sugar but i was like nah bish bash bosh i'll just mix it you know i've not got time for that so i'm mixing my ice and sugar and the cafe tuber until it's well combined and then the next thing is i'm going to add my cream cheese because that's my favorite especially when it comes to cake and the filling i prefer cream cheese than just the butter icing yes i, I just love that so i'm just going to mix everything together till it's well combined this recipe i was just creating it as i went along so i noticed that my mixture was a little bit on the lighter consistency side and i needed it in that thicker consistency so i added a little bit more of my icing sugar and i think i am happy with the texture now you see so i've mixed it all together till it's now combined so i've got the sugar the cafe tuba which of course is spiced as well with the wintia and african nutmeg and cloves and it's just incredible and with a little bit of ginger but now i'm just going to lift this flavor up by just drizzling a little bit of lime juice to it and it makes a big difference because it lifts that flavor up and at this point my cake is ready for me to do my shenanigans so i'm going to cut this cake in half yes and let's see if it's perfect let's see this hey Now, this is where it gets rather interesting because, of course, I'm not a professional cake baker or decorator, but, you know, to throw it down just for me to enjoy at home, why not? I will try it. And that's the thing with life. You don't need to be perfect at everything, but it's an exciting experience to just go through things at least once. And if you enjoy it, you do it again. And as time goes on, you become an expert at it. You never know. I think when I did the Christmas cake, I did mention that, oh no, I'm done with this cake decorated thing. But hey, I'm just giving you a rustic shovel shovel one. <laughs> Thank you.
with the best way to hide a shoddy cake decorated fiasco <laughs> is um, just to insert some more walnuts into it why not and it covers it it gives it that sort of um, interesting um, vibe yeah, i say <laughs> <laughs> at least you know the flavors are still there it's still the cake now if you can decorate your cake perfectly why not i refrigerated the cake after decorating it for at least about two hours and it's now ready for me to cut through and look at that i'm happy with that yeah and i'm gonna have it with some hot chocolate some gunian hot chocolate later eh I did it. Yes, it might not be as perfect, but it's incredible. Look at that. Mm -hmm. Who's not going to say I like it? Exactly. I tried it once and it worked. So try it as well. But I can't do it without you guys. I do appreciate each and every one of you. I'll leave the list of ingredients and measurements on my blog in dubaifafat.blogspot.com. So do check it out. I'm on Instagram, Snapchat, Facebook, and Twitter as in Du Dubai for fun. So do pass by and say hi. Norel, thank you very much for my theme song. And until my next experience with you guys, take care of you. Be nice, be beautiful, be kind, and I love you for you. Bye-bye.